I joined A1 because I wanted education. I wanted to get education specifically in the perineal area. I was a new grad coming right out of school, and I really enjoyed school when I was there. And I kind of felt lost a little bit in that first year of not having papers to write and books to read. But I still wanted to be able to educate my patients because nurses are teachers. And so in order to do that, I felt like my professional association would be the best way for me to keep up. Being a member of your professional organization provides so many things. Um, it's a very low cost investment to become a member. The returns are much greater than the cost to be a member of A1. You receive the Joggin and the Nursing for Women's Health journal, so that's one way of staying up on what the latest evidence is, um, what are, what's new in um, the care of women and newborns uh, to come to convention. Belonging to A1, I believe, is every labor or every, let me say, every uh, women's services employees. It should be their number one goal because you get the networking with people, you get the resources, you get to be able to have A1 literally at your fingertips. If you email somebody a question, it comes right back to you, what you're going to have. You have phenomenal resources with the magazines and, of course, conventions, whether they're going to be local or regional or state or national, and just all the information that that's given to you. I just believe it's important to be a member of your professional organization, especially because it guides your practice. Um, tells you, you know, just like we're looking now forward to the staffing guidelines and that sort of thing to know what's safe. Um, and just knowing that the evidence has been done, the research has been done, um, and that you're getting it straight from your professional organization. I think that's very important. Join A1.